everybody it's your girl zq and we're back with another cooking video and today we're going to be making chicken sandwiches with coleslaw and some fries on the side and i'm gonna take you along we're also going to be using the ninja again it's my second time using it so we're going to be actually using an air fryer um accessory on here they have a grill and accessory but we're going to use the air fryer this time all right y'all so we're going to start with our chicken breasts these are two chicken breasts that i split in half and what we're going to do with them is we're actually going to put the chicken and the egg egg flour back into the egg back into flour and then we're just going to tap 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 for the excess flour and add it into our air fryer we are going to i'm actually going to preheat this because i remember i had to preheat it last time 390 it should be good for our chicken breast boneless all right so it's preheating right now and we're just gonna start prepping our chicken and what not so we're going to season our chicken breast first of all. I'm going to season it with a little saison. One pack should be good. And I'm also going to do some onion powder. Oh, garlic powder. Sorry, my bad. Give it a little bit of that, you know. Mind you, these chicken breasts was thick, y'all. So they're not small chicken breasts. They're very thick. They're gonna come out great. Oh, that was Laurie's. We also gonna throw in some garlic salt. Not too much, you don't want too salty. But don't ask me about no measurements, y'all. I don't know about measurements. I just put it to your taste and put it to your liking, what you would like, how much you would like, how much, you know, seasoning you don't like. If you don't like your food too salty, like a little light taste, it's all to your taste. And right here, we got some Mrs. Dash salt free garlic and herb. This is bomb on your fried chicken. And how they doing? think so oh no i didn't i'm gonna do some onion powder i don't know if i did this already but we're gonna just throw that in there onion powder now we're gonna start with our chicken we're just gonna move them around so that seasoning can get all over each piece of breast each wing each everything oh you know what i forgot black pepper put no black pepper on black pepper in there thank you babe all right that was nothing but that's all right <laughs> yeah squeeze it sometimes you gotta yeah there you go there we go now we got some black pepper in there. okay right. now i'm gonna take our chicken breast now that we have them all nice and seasoned up seasoned up in there take one chicken breast I'm gonna dip it in some egg okay I'm gonna dip it in the flour okay hold it hold it up hold it up hold that chicken up in there um, Excess flour. I'm gonna put it back in the egg so it can be crispy. Crispy. Take it out. Put it back into the flour. Spin that around. But don't worry, you might get a little messy, but that's alright. That's all a part of cooking. Dump off that excess flour. And we're just gonna sit it. So we're all ready. 
We're gonna do the same for the next piece. Put on a little egg. Dump off that excess egg. I'm gonna dip it in some flour. And that's just gonna help it with the crispness of it. Crispness of egg. Oh. oh. Sorry. Dip that again. I'm not sure if I dip that again. I'm gonna dip it again. Here. Now I'm gonna put this chicken into our air fryer. I might have to cook like two at a time. What do you think? Yeah. Two at a time. All right, I'm gonna do like two at a time. So I'm gonna let these two cook. They say let them cook for like 18 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna let them fry, check in on them. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna clean this mess up and then we'll get started on the coleslaw. 20 minutes. Again, breast sitting in the air fry right now, crisping up and got the timer going on that. What I will do quick, I know I said I was gonna start on the coleslaw, but what I will do is just season these fries quickly because as soon as these come out, we're gonna throw our fries right inside as well. So, same ingredients. I'm not gonna use a little of everything, but I'm just gonna use a little garlic powder, onion powder, and pepper. Onion powder. I got some pepper. Okay, y'all. That's just to give our fries some flavor. I didn't peel them, but I did just cut these up already. I'm just gonna mix them together. Oh, crap. Drop one, but that's alright. That's okay. Like I said, those are good to go. So as soon as these come out, we're just gonna. As soon as these come out, we'll be able to just pop our fries in there. Now, put the sips on. Now we can start on our coleslaw. So what I like to use is mayonnaise. We we'll use mayo, real mayo. Hold on, grab a spoon. <laughs> You know, do as much to your taste in it. It goes on how many people you're gonna be cooking for. You know, you never know. So I'm gonna put some mayonnaise there. I'm just gonna mix that in for now. And this is already chopped up carrots, cabbage, and red cabbage, okay? And that's basically all you really need for coleslaw, okay? You shred it up with your little shredder. You think coleslaw takes a lot to make, but it don't. Okay. Now what I am gonna do, I can already tell I'm gonna need a little bit more mayonnaise, so I'm gonna just add a little bit more mayonnaise. Not too much because the lemon is really what's gonna give it that zest. All right, I am gonna add a little pepper. And like I said, the lemon. So I have a little old lemon from a couple days ago that I be using. Lemon is perfect for your skin. You can make a full lemon mask with a with just a lemon and it helps with your dark spots. I used to have really bad acne and I'm a full testament to that, okay? I'm just gonna cut these into slices. And I'm just What's up, y'all? Hi on live. I'm doing a full show vlog that's gonna be coming out soon, so make sure you tune in. All right, we got the lemon. Now we just gonna stir that up. And the last ingredient for this, and that's really all you need, and you got you some bomb coleslaw ready to serve, is some sugar. Add sugar to my coleslaw. Give it a little taste, you know? Don't nobody want no dry, flavorless 
coleslaw. And honestly, I'm doing this coleslaw tutorial for all the restaurants I done been to where the coleslaw was terrible and all you needed was just a little sugar or a little lemon. It was either too thick, okay, too thick from the mayonnaise and nothing else. And once again, I don't know measurements. Like I said, sugar, any sugar you use at home. Just put a little sugar in there, not too much. And we're gonna close that right on up. And always taste your food, guys. You know, you gotta know what your food tastes like before you even serve anybody. So after I get this all stirred up, I'm actually gonna taste a little bit of my own cold slaw. And that helps to tell you if you need a little bit of more of something, a little bit less of something, you know? You never know. Like I said, I'll mix it up. This cold salt looks good. Not you some salt. Take a bite. I'm gonna be honest. I usually let James taste my coleslaw to tell me if it's perfect. We don't want to eat this coleslaw too much. I think it do need a little bit more mayonnaise. And then when I do that, I might also put a little bit more lemon as well. It's not dry, it's almost there, but it ain't perfect. And if you a cooker, then you know. You a chef, you cook your own food, then you know. You know, you know how you like your stuff to taste. Air fryer just going. I'm wondering if I should flip. Put whatever's in that air fryer right now. I'm gonna do a little bit more lemon, y'all, too. A little lemon don't hurt. Yeah. Only a few ingredients, but they all matter, and they all got to have the right amount of whatever it is that you like, you know? Maybe y'all like your coleslaw a little dry. And that's all right. Everybody likes stuff differently. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Sure. What you like is what you like. Let me try this one last time. that coleslaw busting. And it's gonna go perfect on our chicken sandwich. All right guys, so our air fryer has ended. We're gonna check on the chicken and see what it's doing, what it has done. And then we're gonna put everything together and also add our fries into the air fryer now. Okay, so it is done done. Okay? The done done. Alright. Air fryer really did crisp this chicken right on up. Very crispy. Okay. Different different kind of crisp than the than the fryer. But they still look good. So I'm gonna clean this quickly and then I'm gonna add the fries. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so the fries are done. So we're gonna take them on now. Put them into this basket. Sorry, y'all, I just burnt myself. So I'm gonna do it for some cake on this side. They seem crisp to me. I'm gonna throw them right in here. Some napkins to dry them things right on off. Over the dope do. Real good and seasoned. Leave it in there for a little minute. Alright, y'all. I'm going to start off my spicy mayonnaise. You can just get spicy mayonnaise from the store. I do have some in the fridge, but I'm just going to show you how I make my spicy mayonnaise. So I make it with mayonnaise. It's only two ingredients. Mad simple. Mayonnaise, cayenne pepper. Period. So we're just gonna mix it together. You don't really need nothing crazy, no. You know, and like, this is like the last of the mayonnaise here, yeah, okay? Put a 
that's why I also have some spicy mayonnaise because I also knew I was gonna, you know, use majority of this. And we're just gonna add a little bit of chili in there and some black pepper actually. Do some black pepper too, why not? And just mix this all together. So we're gonna do scrape, scrape, okay? So I have some actual spicy mayonnaise. But, and there you go. It is your spicy mayonnaise, okay? Uh, so I don't have enough to really show you right now. I used a lot on the coleslaw earlier, but yes. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with a roll. All right. What we're gonna do is add our spicy mayonnaise. Any kind of roll y'all like, you know, any kind of, like I said, any kind of mayonnaise y'all like. I'll do regular mayonnaise if y'all don't like spicy mayonnaise. And because I'm gonna use all of this, I am gonna use some of the chipotle mayo that I also have here. So you'll see both. And we're going to add some pickles. Whatever pickles y'all like, you know. Do what you do. Make your pickles, whatever pickles you like, however much pickles you like, we're gonna fill this up. Cause my baby likes his pickles. And he gonna eat this one right here. Okay, pickle, 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 the lower. Okay. Now that we got the pickles going for the bottom bun. Instead of adding more of the spicy mayo, now I'm gonna add the slaw. So like I said, I like a little couple scoops of some of that slaw. Just a little bit to the bottom. Then I'm going to add the chicken. And the chicken though, right on there. And just because, let's add a little bit more slaw. Right to the top of that. Because hey, air fryer, I ain't gonna lie, made this a little drier than normal. Normal, you know, a deep fire would be. So, and there you have it, folks. I'm gonna cross that over. Your chicken sandwich is complete. And all you gotta do now is add you some fries right to the side. Yo. Uh oh. Sorry, y'all. I'm messing up everything. And there you go. There you have it. You got you a southern fried chicken right out the deep fryer. Let some fries right on the side. Okay? So like I say, can you see me? So like I say, as always, thank you all for tuning in. Hope to see you again on my next cooking show. I'm just excited to see what we're going to make next. What are we going to make next with this air fryer? It's so unique. It's different. It's so many different things you can make. You can grill. You can bake. You can whatever. So let's see. I'll see you on the next show. Thank you all for tuning in. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, I just thank you and I love you. See you next time. Bye.